Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Now, today, if you've ever thought about 3D printing an Iron Man helmet, you've come to the right place. Now, I've been getting asked a lot of questions lately. The main one, how to 3D print um, an Iron Man faceplate. Another, uh, the most important one I keep getting asked, is how to print the dome, the main dome of the helmet. A lot of people I keep seeing are doing this wrong. It's quite easy and I'm going to show you how. So first off, you're going to need some files as always. Have a look at Do3D. Uh, for this particular file, we will be using the Mark 7 files. It's what's getting used on my suit. If you haven't already seen that, that I'm printing the, uh, the Mark 7 Iron Man suit. But this one. Like I said, there's lots of different files you can use. If not, if you don't want to pay for files, then get on the old Thingiverse. Type in Iron Man Helmet. There's a couple of really good ones, depending on what you're looking for. If you don't want to pay money, this Mark V, a lot of people are printing this at the moment, motorizing it and having it open up in various different ways. Really, really good. Like I said, the Mark 85, which is a basic file there, but... But for this purpose, we're going to be using Do3D. Also, if you've got the time and money and effort to print a full Iron Man suit, they've got a free suit on here, Gemini, Mark 39. Um, frankly, Bill, he's recently uh, 3D printed this. I've got the files. I've never really got around to printing it. To be honest, it's not my cup of tea. If I were to print it, there's a million and one things that I'd want to print before this one. But like I said, there's a free Iron Man suit on there for nothing. You might as well grab it while you can. There's plenty of other stuff. Iron Man hand, which is good. I'm going to be using that on the suit. A Scarlet Witch tiara. You know, if you're into that sort of thing, Daredevil. Now that one, I will be printing for sure. Uh, but like I said, for this one, we will be doing the Do 3D uh, Mark 7. So if you've got a, a full Iron Man helmet, this is what it'll look like when it's finished. Obviously, you don't want to 3D print something like this all in one piece. Even if you're making a bust because it'll just waste a lot of filament. All you'll do is get all this here just be full of supports. And really, all you want is the outer edge. So, we break it down. You go to the faceplate, first of all. This is what we want here. And I see a lot of people just trying to print it vertical. I've seen people... Uh, I've seen people... Lay it down like this, and they get big flat spots at the front here. <clears throat> I've seen people try doing it, you know, upside down. Even <laughs> I've actually seen someone print it like this. Don't ask me why they did it like this. I don't know myself. But if you're going to do it, that's a lot of work for yourself, all the supports and things like that. But ideally, if you're printing something like this, you want it as high, as uh, vertical as you can. Now, not see how it's vertical there, but you see these points here? You're going to get a lot of support straight down. Ideally, the little trick with these face plates, and a lot of Ironman helmets, a lot of them are the same. Uh, you just want to, the face plate, let's take snap rotation off just so we can get it a bit more precise. You just want to lean it over just a bit like that. And what will happen is you'll just get supports under these eyes. See how there's no red under here, so that doesn't really need support, depending on what what your settings you're using. I'm not really going to go into settings. This is a low quality, you know, 10% infill. But once that's done, you'll get something that looks a little like this. <clears throat> so it supports the eyes. That's ideally what you want. I'm not sure what this little guy is doing here, this little support. I'd probably cancel that out if I was to print it. I'd also probably go to 15%. I like to go between 15 and 20 for anything that's going to be used for a display. So 11 hours, 50 minutes, you could probably knock that down. You could probably, you could definitely probably knock that down, but that's quite fast. That's at 0 0.28. It's a low quality. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too many settings. I could speed it up. I'd always print these with a raft because they've got a tendency when they get higher up, you know, printing 
they tend to fall over and there's nothing worse getting 11 hours 10 hours into a print getting up to the top and then it just tips over you lose it and then after that you've got a nice face plate so that's one little trick that you could uh, learn how to 3d print a face plate but once you've got that done the main thing people are asking me at the moment is how to 3d print this the iron man dome the main uh, the main part of the helmet now i know people like to 3d print stuff in one go if you print it like that like i said all this is going to take for days just uh filling all this up with support because obviously you're going to struggle then you're still going to have all this bottom piece here this red piece that you're going to need to uh, look after you're going to have to um, sand and prep and get it back looking nice so if you're going to want it to print something like this the best thing to do is to export it into uh, something like mesh mixer uh, and slice it so if you're not used to mesh mixer go on up here this is the same file in mesh mixer obviously this is your print bed um, but you're going to want to slice it ideally across here if you've never used mesh mixer before you can always practice with some prints uh, some files before you actually cut them so you just want to go to plain cut you can alter it how you want but ideally with these i tend to go you don't want to go into too much you don't want to cut into any detail see there's like a little detail here so you want to be above that on both sides if you're going to cut it because otherwise when it's sliced cut it look it's not cutting into anything so that's one part all you do export it save it so once you've saved it you can um if you wanted you need to save the other piece don't forget to save the other piece so if you want to go onto like actions you can undo what you've just done and then you want to click this guy here this little blue arrow and that'll put you onto the other side the jaw piece and then you've got the other piece which is identical uh, so it's the opposite side of what you've just sliced save that so if you open that file up in your cura like i said you're going to get something looking like this all this red here is what needs support so this widow's peak you'll probably need it under there you probably need it under there if we were to slice that it's going to take days absolute days so what you want to do is spin it round and have it ideally the widow's peak pointing directly up like that if you can get it like that something like that it'd be ideal so you, you might get some supports here it's probably how i've sliced it to be honest i'll probably rushing it you can do it in a different angle a bit better but for the purpose of this you could probably move it a bit round and you get less support you're obviously always going to have some uh work on back of these that needs doing uh, ideally you don't want it at the front what's most visible but if you do it like that it's going to save you a lot a lot of time so there you have it uh, like a quick version on how to save filament on said iron man helmets like i said a day and an hour it's probably about roughly what you want to be spending on if you want to slow this down you can do it probably if i'm like i said i'm not going into settings but you could probably just mess around with it put it onto standard settings let's say and you could slice that in one day three hours it's added two hours onto it sometimes worth printing at a better quality uh just so you've got less less processing work to do when you're sanding these down and you can't get a, a decent looking uh print it'll save you a lot of time so hopefully this video has helped you uh save some time money and effort on 3d printing like i said this hobby isn't cheap anymore